Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous part, we talked about two methods by which animals are able to respond to abiotic condition. Those were to regulate and to conform. Now we are talking about the third method that is migrate. There are many animals, especially birds and fishes. They show migration. Now what exactly this migration is? Migration is a temporary to and fro movement of organisms. Now there are various reasons why these organisms migrate. One is to avoid some highly unsuitable conditions. It can be extreme cold, it can be extreme heat. So animals avoid that condition and for that period they would move to some other place where they have favorable conditions. Once in their original position those favorable conditions return, the animals also come back to the same position and that is why we are calling it temporary to and fro because they go to some place and come back. And the reasons are one is photo period. Especially for birds, for birds we say they, they migrate for breeding, they go to a place and that new place is termed as their breeding ground. Photo period is one very important factor for birds. Photo period is important for the activity of gonads. That means their sex organs, testes and ovaries, they become functional only when they get a particular photo period. So if the birds have to breed, they will have to migrate to an area where they would find the suitable photo period. The second factor could be in search of food. So that once they breed there, they reproduce there, and as soon as the young ones are born, they would have sufficient food to feed to the young ones. So these could be the reasons and these things are not available in their original position or place. So they migrate to the other place. The examples, some birds especially which migrate are falcon, Siberian cranes, These are some important birds which show migration and we need to talk about Keolado National Park which is a new name given to Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary. Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary is very famous because it receives or it gets these migratory birds every year, especially the Siberian cranes. So that is why these birds show migration. If we are talking about the fishes, there are two types of fishes, Catadromus and Anadromus. Catadromus fishes, they are freshwater fishes. But for breeding, they would migrate to sea or ocean. So they go to ocean, they uh, reproduce there, they lay their eggs there. And anadromous is just reverse. So they are normally found in ocean or sea and they migrate to fresh water for egg laying. So depending upon from where to where these fishes are migrating, we can call them catadromous or Anadromous fishes. Catadromous fish example is eel and here we take the example of Hilsa. So by changing the place where these animals live, they are able to cope up with the changed abiotic condition. So they can show migration. The fourth response is known as suspend. 
In suspend, we will talk about three things. One is hibernation. Hibernation is commonly known as winter sleep. Animals like polar bears, they go for this winter sleep or hibernation period. Polar bears, as the name suggests, they live in the extreme cold condition. To avoid those cold conditions, they eat a lot. They gather that nourishment and they go for a period of say uh, two months or three months of hibernation. They go into a cave-like area. They reduce their metabolic activity to bare minimum. And with that reserve material, they are able to survive for that extreme cold period. Once that cold period is gone, they would come out and again lead their normal life. Similar is astivation. Astivation is known as the summer sleep. This is seen in animals which live in extremely hot condition. So here they would try to avoid that extreme heat. And the third is known as diapause. Diapause is very important. This is shown by some <coughs> zooplanktons. Zooplanktons in adverse condition form some cyst-like structures and go into this diapause. Here, they suspend their development also. So, the stage in which they go into diapause, it is the same stage of development when they come out. Whereas, in case of hibernation and astivation, what happens is the development is taking place, metabolic activities are taking place, but they are at bare minimum so that the animal is able to survive with whatever reserve material that they have. So whether it is uh, regulation, thermo or osmoregulation or conformation or whether it is migration or suspension of certain metabolic activities, the animals are able to cope up with the abiotic condition and all this is possible because they have various kinds of adaptations and these adaptations help them cope up with all these abiotic condition. We will take some important examples and their adaptations and we will see how these adaptations have helped these animals and plants to cope up with these abiotic condition. So these examples and their adaptations that we will discuss in the next part.